We're following this morning, a Russian court extended Evan Gershkovich's time behind bars once again. A judge ruling that the Wall Street Journal reporter must await his pre-detention trial in prison until at least June 30th. This comes as Friday marks one year that he's been held prisoner in Russia. 60 Minutes correspondent Leslie Stahl sat down with his sister. Take a listen to what she said about the moment she found out her brother was detained. I got a call from my mom, and it's just my stomach fell out. You know, your heart stops. It's so hard to believe that something like that is actually real. And I remember my mom and I discussing the morning after, is that really Evan, that photo that came out? We didn't want to admit for a moment that that was him. And Leslie Stahl joins us now to speak more about that conversation. Leslie, thanks for being with us. I want to start with asking you why he decided to stay in the country after Russia invaded Ukraine, despite other Western reporters leaving, and how his family reacted to that? Well, first of all, he actually left and moved uh, to London, mm. but he was an accredited, I'm putting that in quotes, a Russian accredited American journalist. And he assumed because of that, that he'd be safe if he went back just to do his reporting. Obviously, he was wrong. Why is this case, Leslie, so unusual? Why has he been held there so long without a trial? Well, it's unusual because no reporters have been held, no American reporters, since the Cold War. Wow. And because he was accredited, uh, a lot of people thought that was kind of a shield of protection. Um, he's, when you ask about him being held so long, uh, we have an American um, ex-Marine Whalen, who's been held for five years. He's had a sentence of 16 years. And Brittany Griner was held, you know, the basketball player, for nine months. So, so far, one year seems to be the way these things go. You know, he did have this pre-detention trial today, and they extended his stay in prison before his trial. Absolutely no one we spoke to thought they were going to release him today. No one. So, Leslie, update us on what America's role is in this situation. What is the government doing to try to help him get out? And is an acquittal in Russia actually possible based on, you know, some of the other cases that you mentioned? Well, other cases usually end in a prisoner swap. Mm -hmm. And I think that that has been discussed. Uh, this is, this is a, a particularly difficult and emotional situation. You know, I've covered these hostage uh, cases for years, going back to um, the 1980s. And up until very recently, families were advised not to say anything, not to raise the value of their loved one by giving a lot of publicity to the case. Um, Evan's situation is completely different. Um, the family uh, is being told they can do whatever they want, and they believe making him high profile is the right way to go. So does the Wall Street Journal, his employer. The United States has determined that he is wrongfully detained. And once that designation is made, um, the U.S. government is empowered to begin negotiating for him. And the U.S. government has an office within the State Department of Hostage Affairs, and they have been negotiating for him. They have discussed a prisoner swap. Um, Putin himself has, says he has said he's open to that. Um, but uh, obviously, nothing so far. And speaking of Putin, can you talk to us, Leslie, about the politics of this case? Well, you know, the Russians have been using hostages as a pawn for a long time. Um, they take them, they hold them uh, in these horrible prisons. Uh, and it, it is a, a pressure tactic to have us release uh, Russians who are in our prisons for actual crimes. Now, our, we maintain that a lot of the people they hold, like Brittany and Evan, are innocent of these charges that they're making. And uh, so uh, Putin suggested, this is very almost bizarre, that a deal involving Alexei Navalny 
you know, the activist mm -hmm. who died or was killed in prison, that a deal was in the works to release him in a prisoner swap for Evan and others, and that it fell through when Navalny died. Um, the U.S. says, we don't know anything about that. I, we don't know what he's talking about. So uh, there's a lot of mystery obviously involved in this particular case. Yeah, still so many questions. Leslie, looking forward to that conversation. Thank you. Thank you.